yes Iggy Pop today and his last for life adorable name by the way clickable name okay listen it no complaint because if you're gonna complain we never gonna damn have a deal okay and I'm a very serious music expert here yes don't you see how many like things about music I have don't mean that I read them and know anything but you know everybody believe all these youtubers now yes but not anyone else only me fantastic uh, energizing energy right away which I really appreciate here and also his performance definitely stood out you see there is a weirdo talented uh, artsy uh, human being not just you know manufactured random star this song was released in 1977 performed by Iggy Pop and co-written by David Bowie actually do you know do you know David Bowie and it's featured on that album last for life the catcher reefs was inspired while pop and bowie were listening to american forces network news great news today somebody kill somebody and you know next weather today is so wonderful you need to open your window open your soul a breeze that fresh air next news basically there was a morse code call signal Bowie first played it on a ukulele and the beat was late interpreted in the studio by the drum beat of brilliant hand sales with crushing symbols drummer sales was paid to work for higher fee for the sessions so basically just got paid to come and play and that's it Iggy Pop was trying to get clean around this time as was David Bowie for both it was a relatively sober time in their lives Pop still played up the image of addict not only in his lyrics but on his stage presence being somewhat clean gave him the freedom to act out as if he wasn't which he did on last for life 
The title is taken from the 1956 film of the same name, which itself is an adaptation of Irwin Stone's 1934 biographical novel about the Dutch painter Vincent van Gogh. So the meaning of the song is always about liquor, sex and drugs, but it's also about quitting heroin as well as falling off the wagon and doing it again. Had it in my ear before refers to shooting, to put an illegal drug into your body with a needle. This movement, this plastic, it's uh, very uh, adorable. He's the wildest wild man of rock and uh, his four decade career has been marked by drug addiction, self-mutilation and on stage nudity. Sounds very dramatic and depressive for some reason. And this song, Last for Life, easily the most an upbeat song by Iggy Pop. And his vocal approach, as much as the music, makes the listener wants to shake the hips and do the big movements. Furthermore, the voice of Iggy Pop has rarely sounded better than it does here, as he belts out the lyrics full force and his unmistakable attitude rings through clearly on each line. Within the words Last for Life represents as autobiographical as anything Iggy Pop ever wrote and the close truth behind the words is probably the reason that he is able to deliver them with such amazing power and style. Basically Iggy Pop was more like a creature while he performed rather than a human. <laughs> Does anybody like Iggy Pop as a performer, a songwriter or vocalist or image of him? Share with me because nobody ever recommended me him. I just do a review for very famous songs. Let's discuss it in the comment section. No complaint. Bye.